FIFA 23 is the latest installment in the long-standing gaming series and it's the last game in the franchise to be developed by EA Sports. After an underwhelming FIFA 22, this year's offering sets out to make up for some of the shortcomings of its predecessor by introducing a couple of improvements. FIFA 23 comes with crossplay between same generation platforms, introduces women's club teams, and adds some new features to the career and ultimate team modes. The game also makes use of the advanced Hyper Motion 2 animations technology which is said to pull data from real-life footage to provide over 6,000 true-to-life animations for a more realistic gameplay experience. Needless to say, like the previous installments in the franchise, FIFA 23 is a primarily tailored towards console gamers and while it does come with a Windows PC version, the game is unavailable for Mac. Despite this, if you do want to try FIFA 23, we will tell you about two easy methods to play on a Mac. The first one is to stream the game to your Mac using the Boosteroid cloud gaming service. The second one is to install Windows on your Mac and then download the game within the Windows environment. The advantage of the cloud gaming approach is that the hardware specs on your Mac don't matter. This allows you to play even the most demanding games on weaker and older Macs because the game would really be running on a remote gaming rig that you connect to your Mac. Another plus is that you don't need to download the game. A big advantage considering that some games can take up to half of your storage space. A potential downside to cloud gaming is having a bad internet connection that would lead to lots of lag and an overall bad experience. The other downside is that most cloud gaming platforms require a monthly fee. There are hardly any free options and the ones that are available are very limiting. On the other hand, playing the game by first installing Windows won't be as impacted by the internet strength, but then your Mac will need to meet the game's requirements, which are rather high. So you need a powerful machine with lots of memory and storage space. Another downside this method introduces is that it will cause your Mac to run very hot. We'll tell you about a cloud gaming service called Boostroid that features the game in its library and using it is super simple. Just register on the site, go to your profile, click the subscribe button and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar on the top. Select play, then click on OK let's go. When you see the Steam login screen, enter your username and password to start playing. With Boostroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service will automatically lower the game's resolution and FPS to keep the performance smooth when experiencing connectivity disruptions. If you want to try Boosteroid, we recommend using it through the Chrome and Firefox browsers as we've had the best experience with these two. It can work on other browsers like Safari, but in testing we found the experience to be subpar. Specifically for this game, we have had the best experience using Boosteroid. As the performance is mostly influenced by the internet speed, we recommend testing your connection before committing to the service. To test it yourself, you can find a link below the video. If you don't think cloud gaming is for you, there's also the option to turn your Mac into a Windows PC. Well, sort of. While there will be some drawbacks, it's possible to install Windows on a Mac and run compatible software, including games. The method we are referring to uses an app called Bootcamp Assistant, which is only available for Intel Macs, so the following instructions cannot be used on M1-based machines. Before we continue, we must warn you that, as of the date of posting this video, the majority of users trying to play FIFA 23 locally on their PCs seem to be experiencing errors caused by the anti-cheat system of the game. In other words, if you install Windows on your Mac to download and play FIFA 23, the game might not start, depending on the currently undetermined factors. To get Windows on your Mac with the Bootcamp Assistant, first go to the Microsoft site and download a 64-bit Windows ISO file. Then navigate to the Utilities folder on your Mac, launch the Bootcamp Assistant, and click Continue. Load the ISO file, then allocate at least 120 gigabytes to the Windows partition and start the installation. Next, simply follow the prompts to install Windows and personalize its settings, and you should be ready to go. The only thing left after that is to install any necessary drivers so that your Mac can run Windows without any issues. We have a detailed guide on the whole process linked in the description. With Windows on your Mac, all that's left to do is download the game as you would on a Windows PC. As we said, FIFA 23 is a demanding game, and even if you're downloading it on a powerful Intel Mac, you may still want to apply some of the following optimization tricks to make the performance smoother. First, type Graphics Settings in the Start menu and open the first result. Click Browse, navigate to the game's folder, select its icon, 
and click Add. Select Options, enable the High Performance Settings and click Save. Now go to the games folder again, right click it, open Properties, select the Compatibility tab, check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations and the Run This Program as Administrator options. Then click Change High DPI Settings, enable the Override option and click OK on everything. Lastly, don't forget to lower the in-game settings before you start. This will significantly lower the game's image quality, but should provide you with a noticeably improved performance. Of course, you can tinker around with these settings to see what works best for you. We want to mention that FIFA 23 cannot be played via Parallels or Crossover, two highly popular apps used for playing Windows games on Mac. The reason FIFA 23 doesn't run on them is that the game requires DirectX 12, which neither of the two apps support. In conclusion, the result of our attempts to play FIFA 23 on Mac is that there are currently only two viable methods of doing that, namely Boostroid and Bootcamp. The cloud gaming option works and is available for both Intel and M1 Macs, but it's still limited by the internet strength. The Bootcamp method is usable on powerful Intel Macs, but you might encounter an anti-cheat error when launching the game. Additionally, the method doesn't work on M-based machines. And so this concludes our overview. Hopefully one of the suggested options would allow you to have fun with the game on your Mac. If you liked this video and found it helpful, we'd appreciate it if you leave a like or a comment below. Also, if you want to see more interesting Apple-related content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. It helps us greatly and allows us to keep making more videos.